Okay, we decided to come over to our favorite place, Disney Springs today, to check out and find all of the Christmas things that we love so much. Number one on our list is gonna be the Christmas tree stroll, which sounds kind of like whatever, but these trees are really flipping amazing, right? We've seen a few so yeah. far. I always, I just, they blow my mind how cool they are. So I'm really excited to see what they have going on this year. We gotta go pick up a map. In the past, the map has had some really good coupons on the back. So we wanna be sure and do that first because we might even use a few of those coupons. We wanna to go to the Christmas store. We wanna to go to World of Disney. We also wanna go, oh, we're gonna go get some food at the Edison tonight. Um, we wanna see if Jocelyn's hangar bar is holiday version now or not. Either way though, I know that they've got some of their snacks and their menu up and running, so we wanna go check that out. So we have a really busy night. Yep. We're gonna have at it. I've got Pepper, I've got Birdie, and I'm Carrie. our map down at City Works. You can also get them at Planet Hollywood, I believe, and then there's a couple other places. But for your buttons and stuff that you get at the end, you, you'll want to go to one of the main distribution centers. But here's the thing, even if you don't want to go around and do the stickers and find the trees and stuff, still stop and pick one of these up. It is completely free and there are so many really great discounts that you can get just by having this piece of paper with you. You don't have to like, they don't like mark it off or anything like that you can come back the next day and use it again it's really really good and the discounts are i think really fantastic Okay, first stop, I've got to find these ears. There's these amazing ears that I'm looking for. We're going to check and see if they have them here in Disney style. How long the tag is. <laughs> the tag is so long. I want to wear them today, but I mean, I do like that there's like a little embroidered candy cane on the side. I just think these are like so retro cute. How are they? Uh, good, minus the tag. You're going to have to tuck that somewhere. I'm gonna ask them to cut it off. I mean, what the heck? Oh, they don't, don't do that. I mean, what is this? This is obscene. This is the longest I've ever seen on a pair of ears. I really want them. All right, done. Yeah, done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds bling. of our first coupon. Grayson and I got the mezcal margaritas and Annabella is getting barbecued pork nachos for free right here at City Works. So Annabelle got the pork nacho. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. Good. Free. That is deep. Great. All right, well, enjoy. Can you help me? They've done such a cool thing too this year. You can meet Santa, but they kept it to a QR code, which is so smart, keeping people out, enjoying food, shopping, and not standing in a line. Plus kids, you know, start melting. But I think this is really cool. So we're gonna scan it and see if we can get a spot to meet Santa. I don't know how late he's here. I have a feeling he's probably not gonna be here too late, but either way, I wanna meet Santa. I gotta ask him some things. We gotta talk. <laughs>
going to dinner at the Edison. Gray is excited to try out some of their incredible cocktails. Um, and I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not dreading it. <laughs> I'm pretty excited too. He's back. He's back. Oh. We got him the first year. Yeah, he's a lot of hot cocoa. Oh, he's just like normal Olaf because he melts. That's the whole point. But you have to be worth melting for. Or you don't. Oh, and look at these s'mores are life. They make them fresh for you right there. And they make the marshmallows fresh and the um, the little, what are they called? Is that? Crackers. What are those crackers called? Is that a cracker called? with a perfect cutout of Mickey with marshmallow in the middle? Or is it a No. That is, I think, a powdered sugar like, oh, okay. you know. That, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Pretty cool though. The ganachery is heaven. I love this place. And by the way, they're just regular chocolate. Everything is made here in house. And it is a very small. It's right there. It is a very small operation and the quality of the chocolate is so good that I actually like it and I don't like chocolate so um, that should tell you. I mean, I don't know, is that a good thing? Maybe, maybe I don't know, but they have these little square chocolates that we always get some and take home to my mother-in-law. They are amazing. The salted caramel will change your life. I will say the bummer is they do not have anything gluten and dairy free. Yeah. They might have some gluten-free because, you know, just chocolate, but everything does have some bit of dairy. So if yeah. you are in that boat, unfortunately, this is not. But right around the corner, I'll show you a place that has awesome gluten-free, dairy-free stuff. Yes, I'm excited. Pepper's favorite place. <laughs> I think I could be wrong, but it's looking like Jock Lindsay's has at least begun the holiday bar transformation. And Gray, you've oh. never seen it. Oh my god. Their decor inside, it is it's these years. It is that that like that period of time when Christmas became sort of like marketable. You know what I mean? So like that period when like everything was like tinsel and velvet and like Coca-Cola, yeah. Santa it's and like the forties. Yeah, like all of that. And it's just absolutely so overwhelming. All the mercury glass ornaments little tins, um, that really traditional Santa face with the big red cheeks, you know? It, and, it's, and it's like, it is just like, it's like somebody just, I, I don't even know, just like poured that all over the restaurant, like oh. gravy. Like it's just dripping with it. And it's, oh, it's so good. There's garland and everything. It's just, it's my, it's, it's, it's good. It's really good. You gotta see. And the food is good, and sorry, you keep on <laughs> The food is really good, the drinks are really good. I'm hoping they have the shrimp in the um, deviled egg. Ooh, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, that sounds delicious. It's amazing. So we're gonna be checking that out once we finish our Christmas tree trail. Uh huh. It has happened, at least on the outside. We're gonna come back later and see if it's happened on the inside. But the sign is up. And it's a good sign indeed. Oh, I see colors inside. Oh, all right. We're going to save this for anticipation and go finish the trees. But we will be back. Look at the little airplanes. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to look. We're not going to look. We're coming back. We're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> You're famous. <laughs> Was it awesome? <laughs> oh, look at you. Do your wave. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. How cute is that? Oh, I want to do this sometime so bad. Okay, as promised. Erin McKenna has amazing treats um, for gluten and dairy free. I know. Well, I don't know. We're gonna have to look and see. But but right now we got to find more trees. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I would imagine that they do have holidays. Why wouldn't they? They had a ton of pumpkin stuff last week. They sure did, didn't they? So beautiful.
jangle them bells and frolic. Oh, by gosh, some stolly eggnog, gin and tonic make Yuletide gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. I just can't get enough. I drink till Rudolph reappears. I toast to him that red nose dear. Jingle them bells and frolic. It's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm loaded. Hours and minutes till the last week of December. For me, the Christmas spirits flow as early as September. It's the best of seasons. Come and raise your glass and sing. No need for other reasons. Glory to the newborn king. I drink to Santa and his helpers too. Here's to mistletoes and here's to you. Jingle them bells and frolic, come, let's sing and dance and cheer. It's the best time of the year. Oh, the snake, the colors, it's just a festival of fun. Oh, this is your favorite. I love how everyone has a different favorite. Look on the top, there's zero outside the doghouse, like flying around. How cute is that? I love everybody. So many of the trees people are having their pictures taken in front of. Like this. I just love this. Again, like the gingerbread houses, and we just did a video on that. Definitely check it out. I'll link it actually. Um, we went and saw the gingerbread house at the Grand Floridian. These are all things that are just so above and beyond. And they just they're the magic it's these details it's like a, this is a gift to the fans and I love it I just love it Look at the Toy Story tree. Oh, I'm in love with, look at the alien guys. And Woody's badge. Oh, you know what? These, oh, there's an actual little guy. All right, I'm gonna say this right now. I think the garland should have been the linked arms of the monkeys. But other than that, see, hire me. <laughs> Okay, so Manny knows this. One day, I'm gonna have a house in Florida that all my family can come to when they're all grown. And my dream is to have this exact topiary out at the pool, pouring water 
into our pool where I can put poinsettias out at Christmas or summer sunflowers or whatever it is. But I'm putting it out there. It's going to happen oh, one day. It's going to happen. Oh, cactus. I mean, just think. But is he not just... I mean, look. I mean, he'll have other bushes and trees and palm trees around him. It's not like... But he's... like Just like he has trees around him now. He's, You know what I mean? He's kind of like blends nicely. I'm obsessed with him. He's my favorite. And I, I just have to have this one day. This is my dream. Sleigh bells ring it. Diamonds bling it. Carol sing it. Chosen, snow is falling, Elfie's calling. Check my list twice, most of y'all done. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. They say, say, Nick, what you got up in that bag? Yeah, I got racks, racks in my sack, or my in that bag, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack or in my bag, yeah Yasha, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes Bring the beat, bring the trees, bring the cheese Put the lights up, tis the season Need no Grinch types, no Ebenezer don't believe this. No, no, no. Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Oh, look at Diamonds the country tree. Oh, look at the door. Okay, so this one's really good to see, like, at this twilight time. Because you can see that the door is glowing. Oh, there's doors everywhere. Oh, it's so pretty. how each person has so like look here's Bruno and he has the um hourglasses all around him Julieta Mirabelle's mom has all of the like cooking you know her ability to heal people around Abuela has the light the candle and a clock and then Annabelle's pointing out that it's kind of interesting that they gave Mirabella a door, but here it is right here. But she has the butterflies, because remember, she's like the resurrection of the family, healing the family through that transition. And then up there is the actual candle, which at night, I bet it's just stunning. And there's, there's more too. This is just so cool. Here's Antonio, of course, with the stuffed lion that Mirabelle gave him, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, look at Louisa. Wow. Yeah, I think this one, I don't know. I don't know. I have This year, they've just, they're just flexing at this point. Like, this year, the trees are way better than previous years, and I've, I've loved them every year, so. Well, these lit up glowing doors. Well, the doors are, but also, like, the theme, it's like, a tree, there's themes around each part. Yeah, there are. Each character has, like, a little theme around them. Like, but yet... sound waves. Uh-huh. Yes, the tiger. Yeah. There's the, like, dumbbells. The yeah. The flowers. Well, and it, but yet it's still cohesive. Yeah. Like, the whole thing is still held cohesive. Like, it's all, like, a... And, of course, it's right here. I'm, I'm going to show you where this one is right here in front of the world at Disney. It's a very special tree. Okay, so Gray, break the news to us. What did we just learn? Uh, it turns out Christmas is not in November and it's a little early for <laughs> there to be Christmas trees everywhere. <laughs> that, where there's, uh, they're not done putting them up. 
Yeah, there's two more. So that's kind of fun though. Gives you reason to come back. Yeah. I'm so curious. Boy, I tell you what, I sure hope it's not the Lion King because I want to see the Lion King one. Um, so <laughs> that was so funny. We were walking around, walking around, walking around, and then we saw this little sign that was like, the elves are working on putting this up. We're like, oh, okay. Elsa's hands sticking out of the tree and ice is coming out of it. Oh, that's so cool. It's a pretty subtle tree. I like that it's like gnawed. Like you, if you know, but if you just saw this someplace, I don't think you'd be like, that's this. You know, you would be like, oh, what a beautiful tree. Right, right. Where this one's like all about those sort of like avatars, those sort of gestures to the characters without the characters actually being on there. Kind of like, well, I don't know, Group was on uh, Galaxy, I don't know. Guardians of the Galaxy. Can you see that? We always like to come and see the same guy, and you know what, I'm being rude and I don't remember his name. Daniel. Daniel. He is always over here, underneath, at least every time we come, across from Tommy Bahama. We are celebrating cheers to the Christmas trail. The trees, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. We can go get our buttons and let's go grab a bite to eat. I think we're gonna go to Jock, Jock Lindsay's, right? Because we wanna get some of those really great um, appetizers and then we'll have dinner later. They might even have it right here at the hostess stand. She has completed her map. Head to the store, okay? Inside? Okay, thank you. Woo! Okay, confession. I have never been inside of here. Oh, right here, behind you, honey. Three pins. Very good. I didn't put my stickers on mine. <laughs> We're arguing over that. I, I think, think Kanto or Coco. Yeah, Kanto or Coco. What was your favorite? Uh, Nightmare was really good. Nightmare Before Christmas. I really liked Black Panther. Yeah, so it's cool. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. I just got them, obviously. Thank you. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you. How fun. We need to come here and eat. Okay. So cool, right? Just mule. Look at that, like ice-covered piece of rosemary. Annabelle's 
cookies. Look at the cookies. This is like a beautiful cookie. Oh, somebody worked so hard on that cookie. Look, it's double. <laughs> and then there's a bell. Each one of these is like a double, meaning like, you know, it's got a filling. Look how pretty that is. So Annabelle got this with milk, but my favorite part is, is the plate. Look at the plate. Where did they find these like vintage looking plates? It just goes with all the decor in here so well. Okay, Okay. adorable. Annabelle is going to have. So Bertie, um, maybe save one of each of those to take home to your siblings? One of each? Well, I don't know. No, like Anymore. save two for, wait, wait, what are you, what are you doing? I'm sniffing. Oh, I want to see your drink. Look at that big old hunk of oh, pomegranate that's in there. Look at this big old hunk of glass right here. Oh, I love those glasses that are, that's a fun glass. Look at it. So much fun. And then your beautiful, let me see that pomegranate. Uh, yes. You get it right there. So fun. Beautiful. All right, enjoy. Yeah. Is that a salt rim on yours? Mine should um, probably have a sugar rim. Oh, sugar, sugar. rim. Right. What? This one's like nuts. Aren't they cool? Isn't that so fun? So cool. I love it. I love this place. Jingle G and T. Oh, the Jingle G and T. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. And I got the Yum Yum. How fun is this? This is like so much fun. Let's try this. Okay. Yum. So these are <laughs> the nice eggs. And these don't bite. I love that they color them. I like the shrimp ones that you just go, but these look really fun. This was the reason everybody's like, we have to go see if they have the eggs. Yes. I know if these look really good. And then the naughty ones are coming out. So, uh oh. Oh, there it is. These are the naughty ones, I think. Oh, no. Put the naughty ones in front of me. Look, and oh, of course. Green eggs and ham. All right, go ahead and have one, Annabelle. Are you having green eggs and ham? Amazing, and these are the naughty. Yeah, that's definitely a green eggs and ham one right there. And then we also got the churrasco, which is coming out. Is that what we're doing? We're trying nice first. Everybody's mm. happily enjoying. Oh man, so good. Wait, you're ditching the ham? That was me. Mm -mm. I'll eat that. But now I want to try the spicy. I'll try a red one. Have that one good. You don't want the ham? And about it's really good. The ham is delicious. Yeah. No, no. Spicy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. No, no, but if you don't like it, it's a spicy naughty. It's a naughty. Oh, it's not right, spicy. I like the spicy. The nice is delicious. I want to try the spicy. The spicy doesn't get spicy until like a, a moment into it. They're like, ooh. I'm going to get it. I have a little circulation going here. Oh my gosh. So good, right? Have you tried the spicy? I'm about to. So good. Which one do you like better, Birdie? Okay, clearly. Probably no. the nice. The nice? I think spicy. You like spicy better? Me too. I knew you were gonna take the big ham one. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I am. Stick it on.
that's so good. I love it here. I think the aesthetics that they have done in here and the theming is so, so good. Oh, yeah. That's like the rubber hose cartoons. And then here we've got the workers. I'm showing Gray my uh, high roller coins. What'd you say? This is like an adult Chuck E. Cheese. It's so funny. You got it's coins? so true. I love that. You, the coins? you collect them? Like, Can I turn this in? Here's my, my tickets. Prize? Give me my prize. I love it. It's so true. Oh my god. Oh, does your it's your cake is so cute, it's got dimples. What did you order? <laughs> uh bootleggers basil. Yeah. What a good taste. So I got a beautiful oh, Tito's dirty martini. You can see I already jumped into my little olive friend here. And they really did a great job. It was a little clearer than I was expecting, but the flavor was spot on. It the taste is just gorgeous. It's nice and dirty and it's exactly like I like it. Really, really good. How do you like to drink it about? It's kinda like lemonade, but with watermelon flavor. Oh really? Yeah. It's like a watermelon. So is it sweeter than regular lemonade or is it more like fresh watermelon? It's like it's sweet in one way but then tart in another way. Is it, oh, I think there's lime juice in it. Yeah, there's yeah, that's what it is. Do you taste uh, any strawberry in there? Yeah. Yeah? So it's strawberry watermelon. Lemonade. Strawberry watermelon lemonade with lime? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's good. But do you like it? Yeah. Well it's that's good. what matters. Yeah. So this it's a really good drink. It's the flavors just really like combine into just a single like cohesive flavor. It has like the wide, rich sweetness of honey. It's got that slight kind of blackberry sweetness on top of it. The whiskey, I forget what kind of whiskey exactly it is, but very strong whiskey note throughout and it stays for a long time. It's a lingering finish on it. It's really good. I think the basil also comes out more in the finish, especially when I kind of aerate it. The basil doesn't come out so much in the smell as it does in the finish of after you've tasted it and swallowed and it's the remaining drink that's in there. That's kind of when you taste the basil just a little tiny bit. Give it a smell. Like, look at it first off. Yeah. So this one is a little different in color than the one that I had, but that's probably because of the strawberries today. Yeah. Um, but huge ice. Yeah. A lot of ice. Give it a sniff. I do smell the chocolate. It's not it's chocolate. We can give it a taste. I smell. Okay, you can smell the chocolate. Smell that. A little bit of strawberry, a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, you do smell it. It smells like it's chocolate. Weird, right? yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You like it? That, that is an experience of a drink. Can you push it this way now? Like... <laughs> yeah, you get your little coin. Yes, yes, of course. Like, the fact that it's alcohol almost doesn't even like come to mind no. when you drink it. No, like, it doesn't. It does. I mean... It's a liquid... Sure, there, sure, there's vodka in it, but it's yeah, li liquid chocolate covered strawberry, but completely continuous. When you eat an actual chocolate covered strawberry, 
there's a chocolate coating on the outside and then there's strawberry on the inside. That's true. But when you have that, it's everything at once and then it slowly like fades away. It's, it's so, delicious, huh? So I good. needed to see you try it. It's so yummy. It's so yummy. <laughs> It's so good, right? Oh my gosh.